Today's video is going to be, if you haven't seen from the, the thumbnail or the title, it's just going to be a couple days in my life. And today is Tuesday and I've just woken up, it's about 5 to 8, so I'm going to go start my day now. But I just finished my book I was reading, which was the second, the sequel to Good Girl's Guide to Murder. It's called Good Girl, Bad Blood and I'm going to give it like a 4 star. I really, really enjoyed it. Really, really good book. I'm really enjoying this series. I actually have spoken about the first book in my other video. Gave it 5 stars. Definitely recommend. But I'm so excited excited and I'm sorry if I'm talking about books straight away in this video and that's not something that you're interested in don't worry it's not I'm not it's not gonna be the only thing I talk about but I have to mention this because it's the 7th of November which means I inflame the sequel to sorry mosquito the sequel to fourth wing has been released and I've got it on my Kindle which means I can start reading it today and I'm so excited for this book release. I desperately wanted to get the physical, I actually wanted to get the pre-order the one on Amazon with black sprayed edges on the side but it was just like stupid money to, it was just like far, I couldn't justify the price to ship it to Mauritius so we're just gonna go with the good old Kindle read and I've got it on my iPad so I can like cross-reference the maps and all of that that usually are in the beginning of a fantasy novel if you don't know what fourth wing is it's like only one of the most hyped up books on tiktok for the year <laughs> in the fantasy genre i really enjoyed it loved that book six star for me <laughs> uh, i know it's not everyone's favorite but for me i really enjoyed it so i'm very excited to start this book although i'm not going to start it right now because i do want to get going on some work but yeah, stick around for the for a couple days of my life. Uh, living in Mauritius as a South African. Let's go. admit that it is the perfect weather to get going on a good book i don't need this kind of weather to deter me from the work i need to do or the work i'm scheduled to do it just seems like the most perfect weather to get stuck into iron flame and just get like a good amount through it because I listen to a specific playlist while I work well I suppose it depends on what kind of work I'm doing but look so it's like a Star Wars theme song it's across the stars and it's got look at the progress bar for the sound it's a lightsaber <laughs> thought that was cute the calm after the storm I wouldn't say calm because it's definitely like still very cloudy but the water is very calm it's a little bit of a risk to come outside to the beach because it might quite literally start raining any second because the rain comes on and off on and off on and off but it's so nice maybe i should go for a walk i'm like literally dressed as if i'm like in my pajamas it's like quite literally my pajamas 
but I'm going to walk. I look like a hobo. It's a coconut. Walking here, I realised that I actually need to be outside because it's been raining the whole day. So I have hardly gone outside today. Yeah, the watercolour looks so strange though because it's normally a bit lighter, but it's like dark because of the rain. It is so beautiful. I can walk along the beach all the way to like a viewpoint that a lot of people go to to watch the sunset. It's really not that far, so that's where I'm going. And if you're curious, it's about five o'clock in the evening. I just stopped working, so it seems like an appropriate time to go for a little walk before dinner. The water is so clear, you can see right through. I mean, it's really shallow, so that obviously has a factor. But it's beautiful. A little update though, I haven't read any of Iron Flame of the second fourth wing today, so I really am quite excited to read that tonight. Last video I spoke about reading The Essence on Chemistry and then um, watching this series. So I'll be watching an episode of The Essence on Chemistry and then reading Iron Flame, that's like the, the goal. So flat for like so long, that's why stand-up paddleboarding is like so popular. Cool. Because you, you see the, the like small little waves right in the distance, that's where the reef is. So you can go all the way to the reef and then snorkel. I actually did that last week. You just like easily suck board. If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close the chapter, dignify Still a bit overcast today, but the weather's really good, so yeah, feeling good. I decided to take a route that I've never run before, so we'll see where I end up. <laughs> These goats! Then will I have had enough of trying to keep myself real tough? That run was 100% mental. I just struggled. <laughs> I'm glad I did it, and I'm glad it's over. Tuna wrap, nothing fancy because it takes like 10 minutes to make, which is perfect. You got so much tuna, chopped up cucumber and tomatoes, but kind of any vegetables that you have that are like on rotation in your fridge would do, and then some lettuce in these little mini wraps. And then for my sauces, I just use mayonnaise and sweet chili sauce. It's really so simple. One do hold my voices. Yeah. And then you just eat them like little tacos. So I'm just taking a little break now and the weather is perfect. It's raining. It's a little bit chilly. I'm actually wearing tracksuit pants, which is the first time I'm wearing tracksuit pants since I've come to Mauritius because the weather's just not really permitted it. So I've got my tea, some biscuits, and my book for the next 30 to 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna get back to work. I'm fucked up, oh yeah, I know it. All along with mixed emotions. Oh, 
about half past 10 and I spent the morning reading Iron Flame, which I am 100% hooked with. She just has this really great ability to make me see the book as if it's like a movie in my head. Her description is not too much, but not too little. I can just visualize it so much. Anyway, I'm not going to speak about books now, but I spent the morning just finishing up editing the YouTube video, which is just about to go live, which is exciting. And then I have a call with a friend now, so I'm just doing my face care and all of that. And I'm really excited because she loves books. I love books. So we talk about books a lot together. <laughs> and if you're watching this, hello. <laughs> but I wanted to give an update on this skincare that I bought last week, which I put in my other video. This is before I've washed my face, but as you can see, my pimples have disappeared. So either the skincare is working or the fact that I have gone back to my usual sunscreen is working but I think it's a combination to be honest but anyway it's such a beautiful day today so I think I'm actually gonna take my call out on the beach because that is the perfect opportunity to enjoy the beach because I've actually got quite a I've scheduled myself quite a tight day today to make sure I get all the things I want to get done and today is such a good day that it would be silly not to go out and appreciate it so I'm gonna kill two birds one stone and have my call with my friend out on the beach It's lunchtime now. I just got off the call. Um, you know, sometimes you get like two hours calls and time just goes like. <laughs> anyway, I'm literally starving. Like when you when you go to the kitchen and you like frantically search for anything that you can eat. So I'm walking to the bakery and I'm gonna get a sandwich from the bakery. Probably like 6.30 now. It's six. Alright, it's 6.30 now. What are we doing, Mom? We're, we're making bangers and mash for dinner. You probably don't know, but it's like one of my favorite dinners. Bangers and mash is elite dinner material and no one can convince me otherwise. My sister and her husband just came by and we had lunch. We're gonna make the easiest dinner. So I'm off to the gym now. I have a lower body session today. I'm just making some breakfast. Some scrambled egg on toast. It's literally my fixation at the moment. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go do that now. Yeah, and then we basically had some. So the gym was actually really good. I was feeling a little bit strange. So I just did my best. But I, I listened to an audiobook. I listened to I Am Flame, the audiobook, just because I thought like, why not get some reading done? Some reading done while, while I'm gym. Then I can get through the book and I can read more. And it actually was really nice. So I think I might try that more often. I thought that I needed music to like really push myself and maybe that's why I didn't have such a good workout. So I'm gonna try it again, see if I can play around with that. But yeah, I, I thought it was cool. I, I was worried for two reasons. First was that music kind of gives you that intensity that you need to like push yourself And the second one was that I wouldn't pay attention to the book and I did pay attention So first one I think I'm just gonna test it out try it again see if I can change But we're doing something really exciting now it's lunchtime and my mom and I have a book club that we um just the three of us together. We read a book every month and we're gonna have our little book club meeting. We're gonna go out to a cafe or something We actually have two books we need to catch up on. We've got last month and this month book not November so we still obviously at the end of November we'll talk about November's book. So we're gonna do that and that's so much fun because it's like it's like free reign to talk about books. <laughs> and if you've watched any of my videos, you will realize that I love books. So I talk about books a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very excited for that. And I actually wanna finish quickly a little like little presentation thing that I'm gonna be taking with for book club because I think that's fun. Because last month's book was my book. So let's get to that. <laughs> I got this idea from Rachel Catherine on YouTube and I thought it was so much fun so I wanted to try for our book club. Uh, it just gives you like some prompts to talk about so and also you can give some fun facts about the book and it's just like really fun so that's what I'm doing but I, I made this at the beginning of the month last month and I need to just finish it and I got about 10 minutes before my sister arrives and I also need to pack a bag because I'm going to be sleeping over at her place tonight so I got a little bit of rushing to do. <laughs> I'm busy looking for one star reviews that are like funny. <laughs> you ready for book club? Yeah. I finished my book. Hello! 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 Hello. 
bringing it I'm to order. Just, uh, I'm going to order. 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 I'm